Hello, good morning. I'm back with another fork this. Uh, back to Jello. And this one is called a green grotto salad. A few people have shared this one for me. I'm excited about it. It's got layers. And one layer does definitely involve both tuna and miracle whip. So always a party. This one actually starts, I'm gonna chop up some vegetables first because it looks like we just put vegetables in right after making the jello. The diversity, don't worry, stop. The diversity of process here is really exciting. One cup chopped celery. Next, three quarter cup chopped olives. You wanna have a balance, I've learned, in terms of size of chunks, because you want it to be big enough where you can see it. We're making art. You don't want them to be too big because you have to eat it. You have to eat it. And so having a bite that's like a whole olive can be a lot. So I'm quartering these olives. Okay, I have here what feels like a, a lot of olives. A lot of olives. And adding these to my celery mixture. So next we're going to make the gelatin and then we just dump all this right on in. Okay, so this recipe says to add the boiling water to the gelatin, which is interesting. I've been doing it the other way around in the past. So, so many options. So I'm just gonna dump this into the bowl. We're using lime gelatin. Again, that is exactly what the recipe calls for. I'm adding my boiling water to the jello, not making a mess. Dissolving. Dash of salt. Three tablespoons of vinegar. One. Two. Three. And now, this seems fun. We just put the vegetables I chopped right into the hot jello. So just putting in my celery and olives. And so here's where things get exciting. To make layers, I put half of this into my mold and let that set. And then we're gonna add more stuff, specifically miracle with cucumber and tuna to the other half. And then that becomes the other layer. And so hopefully we'll have something where there's kind of a clear layer and then kind of a layer that's got miracle whip and tuna in it. And it should be beautiful if nothing else. I didn't think this through. Um, this isn't a good bowl to pour. I don't know, I'm just gonna eyeball half of this and we'll see what happens. I'm half the jello into my mold. Um, sure, that looks like half. Okay, so now I'm just quick adding in the additional things to my second layer of jello. A cup of cucumber, I am dumping it in with my jello that already has the celery and the olives in it. And now it calls for a can of tuna. I am putting in a five ounce can of tuna. The recipe actually calls for a seven ounce can of tuna. Uh, so just know there should be more tuna. Oh, just do not like tuna from a can. Oh yeah, stir it in. Stir in the tuna with the cucumber, celery, olives into the lime jello with the vinegar and the salt in it. Um, but we're not done. Miracle Whip. And so the recipe says either mayonnaise or salad dressing. In the past, I have not liked the ones with mayonnaise. And so I wonder if Miracle Whip is the key. I think if, if I like this one, it's, it's because of this. So I dump that in here. Look at this, look at this goodness right here. Yeah, that is, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. So, and we're gonna combine these two and then see what happens. We're ready to combine the two layers here. This one's only been in the freezer for like a half hour and it's set up pretty well. You can see, so yeah, this is the layer with just the jello and the celery and the olives. So it's more of that really like clear emeraldy color. And then what we're gonna do is pour 
this one on top of it. And again, ideally then we'll have two layers. I'm excited. I think the, like the art potential for this one is really high. So I'm just going to kind of pour it in and try not to make a mess. And yes, we don't want to stir them together. We want two separate jello layers. Okay, so now all of this is going to go back in the fridge and then uh, we get to try it. It's go time. This looks beautiful. I really hope the different layers worked out. Let's find out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Please be pretty. Ooh, I think it kind of worked. I mean, this is beautiful. What I should have used was a smaller and taller loaf pan because then we would have seen more of the layers. I learn, I learn every time with this. Oh, right. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. The green, the green, I'm going to hold up again, the green. And then there's that, that white. <laughs> so this is really fun. I'm going to get a piece that definitely includes both the layers. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, there's an olive there. There's definitely tuna. Okay. Oh, weird. There's a weird thing right at the end. This. This is not bad. This is, I got a lot of olive with that, and there was some crunch, which was exciting. I think it's the Miracle Whip. It's a miracle. I mean, I'm not having any more. Like, that was enough, but that wasn't terrible. I don't want to get used to this, so that's a little worrying now. Okay. Well, this is beautiful. This is exciting. This has been another episode of Fork This. And thank you. I have to do some bonus footage. You can see the top jello layer behaves a little bit differently than the bottom jello layer. If I cut into it here, sploosh. Yeah, that's awesome.